Okay, so let's advance a bit more and we shall see how this thing will progress. So far, we are doing fine, I guess. We have the new ship projects ready, but I'll have to decide on the whole monitor thing and see how it will do. Targeting speed is a huge thing. But on the other hand, uh, I had a talk with Jorgen the other day and he pointed out that if you by some chance have a large number of lasers on a ship not mounted on a turret, they can as well be very useful because they will mostly miss but the fact is that the extra space you are using to get the targeting uh, upgraded and mounting things on the turret alone can mean so much that you have say instead of four 20 lasers with a fraction of the chance to hit thing but on the other hand there are so many that they can make up for it so I don't know, a good example would be say I have 50% chance to hit with a turret but then I have over twice as many lasers alone but each has 25% to hit so which one is then better? Okay, we found a new wicking class of Warden Empire in Seoul Okay, that's no problem No need to stop there I'm so unhappy with the blockade, man. I just don't want those people to die. That's... I don't really give a damn about the resources and everything, but I don't want these people to simply die. That's the only thing that matters now. A related thing as well is that when we and I get the new targeting. I'm gonna create a new um, new weapons platform. The Alpha One is, well, let's say it quite frankly outdated now. Instead of one turret, we will have two and faster moving turrets and better targeting speed. And these we might place on the Glees jump point. And after that is done, I might move in the, the fleet, the new monitors, the old monitors, and uh, the Raptors to Ferguson and face the enemy. I'm not sure if we will be able to defeat them though. And that's a question one has to ask. Okay, we got interrupted. Team skill has been increased. Okay. Cool. cool. Let's continue. It's 11th of February. Come on. I would like to get the second turret and then I'll probably end for today so many asteroids man even here come on game come on give me something I 
Another interim? What's going on? Sven Mining Colony has been expanded, man. We are expanding on time, man. We're hemorrhaging money again. But this is like a vein hemorrhage, not <laughs> really so bad. We're bleeding. We're not hemorrhaging. We're just bleeding. <laughs> Uh, we have a cut. Okay, things will be fine here. We got some mines, some automated mines. I don't think this needs to be changed. The research, 14th of March. Okay, a month away. Fire control, that's a different story. And minimum power, engine power modifier. It's a whole new story as well. Come on, you gamey game. Show me the worst you got. I guess the population of Ferguson will still be growing unless something happens to them. I just hope it won't be that bad. Because, god damn it. <laughs> I don't want them to die. I know I'm saying it all the time, but I really feel for these people. These are colonists that when it was such a long trip, it was really hard to establish what they have there now, and now they're supposed to die? I don't like that. Evie Kirby increased her fleet movement initiative. initiative. Tyler Donnell increases 25%. His... What? Oh, diplomacy bonus. Uh, Tyler Donnell increased his diplomacy bonus to 25%. And diplomatic team of Tyler Donnell has increased its skill to 445. Oh, but this ought to happen sooner or later that we will encounter aliens, hostile aliens. It had to happen. Scout times with one completed orders. Okay. Mm, one thing I wanted to see though is MSP missile size. Missile series. Anti ship missile, no second stage. I wanted to see if there is way I want to see the size of this 1.5 MSP. And if I designed a launcher for this, yeah. It shows you maximum cell size to twenty five for the seconds. Oh god damn it, that's Oh that's huge. The cell size hundred, my god, it's gonna be a tank buster. If I made it PDC based. Because I would like to uh, start designing some of them, some of the anti-missile missiles I was talking about before. Missile engine, nuclear, po nuclear pulse technology. Okay, how far we can go? Times three. Fuel consumption reduced and. One point five MSP. 
And what's the warhead strength? I've never done this before, so bear with me here. If I put in three, that's value six. Okay, but we need just one. That's 1.5 MSP already. Because half is fuel capacity. Materials need warhead two. Armor zero. New rating ten. Materials require titanium. How much would it cost? I just I'm just digging around right now, so I'm thinking that if we created missile engine with size one point four. Which is a research project would be eighty four research points. That's not that bad, so I think we could risk it and just create it. Um, basic missile in the career pass engine. I would like to see what kind of missile we can create with that. After we all finish the triple ultraviolet laser turret, I'm gonna quick research it and see. Because I would really like to fortify Earth as soon as possible. And we don't really need any huge anti-ship missiles. We just need to make sure their missiles don't hit Earth. That's really all it takes. We can deal with long-range missiles and things like that later on. If we ever decide to create such missiles. Uh, I was wondering about the cruiser, you know. Um, because that one will be large enough to be capable of carrying missile launchers and some missiles. So that could be an option. And the thing is, if we ever decide to go and hit the enemy, um, we should really be, sh we should make sure we are capable of destroying them because we can just piss them off and then retreat. Okay, Boss Plan Kingdom and Heisden has completed their overhauls. That's awesome. The Towers Dawn of the team has increased its skill. We should also consider the cost of the missiles, because they do cost money, and that's not something you can completely ignore. Well, not money, you know, resources. And if we run out of resources, then no missiles. Uh, so we ask you, oh, they have. They have orders, I didn't know that. Cost design, cost this all. System map. Hey, this is wrong. Okay, why can't you... Oh, I have it here. Survey task group two. Survey task group one. Survey task group three. Okay, this ought to do it. It's 5th of March. So two more turns and then we will be ready to just quickly research the missile. We can look on what it's gonna do and then we can pretty much end it for today. The good news in today's session is that nobody died. The bad news is that they can all die tomorrow or, you know, during the next session. Oh my god.
it would be so easy to say screw them but the colony die but I'm not really the type of leader I just can't sacrifice them while trying to save them first oh and we finished then command Madeline Shaw has been assigned to Cuprum, Argon and Barium okay you guys you guys should go to Barnard Probably send you there. Are you part of the orbital fleet? Yeah, you are. You are. I'm at the task of Earth. Let's. What's your range? Twenty-six point five billion kilometers. They have ten percent now. Uh, which is how much then? 2.6 billion. Well, that is not that impressive. Uh, but I know how to deal with that. Just detach you and then detach you and detach you and you will refuel and then we'll merge you and equalize fuel earth refuel okay one day increment should ought to should do it should ought to do it oh my god <laughs> I'm getting tired here Okay, now which one was it that? Barium, right? No. Okay, Cuprum. So you will join Cuprum. And so will Argon. Okay, that should take about an hour. Or actually, ten minutes or so, but cool. And we now have FH Cuprum, and we will rename it to Sorim Harvester Fleet 002. You, my friends, will. Where are you? Equalize fuel and go to Barnard's Star Jump Point and transfer through. that done we should now finish the research of the other turret we should right by the way this will increase our fuel production by another 4.5 million something like that 4.5 I believe or over 4 million liters of fuel every year which is sweet though this will be modified by the availability in the system so and even more this gives us a reason to build the tanker okay now we finished the ultraviolet laser turret and we can where are missiles and kinetic weapons here? Railgun, huh? Uh, 
What is that? Wait, is that power and proportion? I guess that's power and proportion, yes. Um, is there a reason to change this? If I gave him 14 laps. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Let's just go on with it. One and two, and we are there. Come on! Oh my god, these turns are getting longer and longer, but it's not as bad. At least I have a new computer. I know that some people reported having turns that were processed for, say, 20 minutes. I can't even imagine that. Okay, we had another favors. Colonel Alice Douglas joined our Army Officer Corps. Just the thing, though, did they maybe okay no and there's another wreckage what the hell is happening there wreckage of unknown cause i don't know what's up with that 800 tons maybe they are fighting with someone someone comes and they destroy it i know we got reports of losing contact with ships but I wasn't expecting them to die in here it's weird he's okay, still nothing come on need that research I need that research finished. Oh, it's 24th of March. Okay. Or is Aurora just moving in one day because of the five day research limits? Okay. It's, I should have picked the five day increment in the beginning and just be cool bitch be cool what a tremendous line Okay, now we should get it. Yes. Okay, so let's see what missile we could get with this. With warhead strength will be 1 and fuel capacity 0.5. And we add the basic missile nuclear pulse engine. We're not doing all that good. It's ten thousand kilometer at ten thousand kilometers it is just eleven point one point six percent chance to hit something. And it would need thousand two hundred fifty fuel per missile. If I add agility
what's the range? 230 million kilometers. Oh my god, it's I think a bit too far. 53 million should be enough. If I change this to 0.4, and yeah, then, then it goes up by a huge margin. Chance to hit at 1,000 kilometers, at 3,000, at 5,000. Well, now it depends what they'll keep throwing at us. But I expect their. Yeah, I can even magnify this by 2. I'll have. Cost per missile. Uh, five point seven and if I make agility point seven. Well, we could get all the way to twenty percent, but I don't think that's worth it because if we kept it like this, and the missile would be much cheaper. Point five, and the chances. Yeah, this would be way cheaper, and we could produce more of them and shoot them. But the speed is appalling, we would really need a... a better speed for this. And they would have much higher chance. We could say, say they fire uh, 20 missiles, at, I don't know, um, 15,000 kilometers per second, and they would probably shoot faster ones than that, but say 15,000, then the chance would be around 7, 8%, maybe even less. So we would need statistically 12 missiles per enemy missile, and that's a bit appalling. So we'll need a different engine, maybe a bigger one, I don't know, I'll have to think about this. Uh, but the key to this, in my opinion, is here. This. Where is it? We need this to at least say, I don't know, two, three. Then we can make the missile, it goes exponentially up. Up, it goes up exponentially, so if we go somewhere to 2.5, and the missiles will be much faster. And you know, while we're at it, we might even go as far as to go uh, for gas cooled, fast reactor technology, and research ion engines. And then we would be even better. Because for anti sh ship missiles, speed is everything. But for anti missile missiles, speed is everything times seven. Because if it's not fast and agile, then it's nothing. So as a goodbye to you guys, I'm just gonna make sure that we will put uh, the new turret on Raptor, and I'm gonna end for today. So where is the turret? Here. And we can put in the triple 10 centimeter turret, and we have how much? Oh man, that's bad. We'll need we'll have to put in two. We have twelve, but we have only uh, nine. Is our but whatever. So yeah, that's all for me today. This was thrilling, but we are in a ride that will never end. I guess. God damn it! First interstellar war. First interstellar war is upon us sooner than I would like it but hey it had to come at a certain point didn't it so here it comes and we can only make sure that we are at least a bit ready for it